All right, guys. Welcome to Zombie FC. I'm not sure what the FC stands for, but this is the soccer game. It's the soccer map. Map. That's the word I was looking for. That I will be playing. There. There's also a sequel to this map, which I will be playing after this video. So, yeah, there's going to be a soccer field. It looks like we're in the winter from the looks of it. We're out in this enclosed parking lot. Don't know how all the cars got here, if everything's closed, but they're here nonetheless. And so are these zombies. So this map, along with the seek I'm pretty sure the sequel as well, was also released in 2015, so that makes this map, well, seven and a half it this year's old. All right. Ooh. Yeah, we got the classic What If War Herc posters that pretty sure originally appeared in Verruck. I know the the perks did, but I, I think the posters did as well. So pretty cool to to have those. Nice blast from the past. Yeah. So I want you, I want you guys to know that. If you uh, leave a comment in my video, I do see it. You know, I do read all the comments since, you know, I, I don't get that many comments per day. You know, I usually get at least one per day, maybe up to four or five at most. So, you know, since I'm not like a gigantic YouTuber, I do have time to actually look through my comments and, you know, I read every single one of them, unless they're like, unless YouTube automatically puts them in like, I don't know, the, the reviewed comments, I usually don't check those held comments. I'm, I don't know, 100% sure what they're... Yeah. But, because, I don't know, I, it never comes to my head to look at those. But sometimes, it's people are just, uh... Usually the comments that are in that category are just spam anyway, so... Yeah, I, I never usually look at them. It's either, like, s spam bots or... Oh my freaking god. Why this gun? Or some other type of spam. So, yeah, never look at that. Sometimes legit comments do get put in there. So, every every once in a while, maybe like once a month, if I look in that, I might see like a legit comment. Yeah, but other eyes, I don't see it. But yeah, the reason I bring this up is because I want to talk about a, a funny comment I got. I mean, it's not funny, but it, it's funny to me. So, I was discussing like the TikTok ban that Congress was um, passing. So it passed the Senate, so that's interesting. So the video, it was the, the castle video, that's the one it was. When I was playing that zombies castle, I was discussing a TikTok ban, I'd be like, yeah, you know, TikTok ban, that would be nice, you know, I wouldn't mind it. You know, I wasn't 100% sure if it meant just like on ordinary, you know, citizens' devices. Because um, I, I wasn't really, like, I was really reading the headlines of articles that said, like, TikTok ban in U.S. It's, no, I thought they meant, like, every device. No, it was only government devices, apparently. Yeah, so, not, not ordinary citizens. But, you know, oh, there's power, great. I was thinking... It would have meant everyone, so I was like, yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind if uh, TikTok was banned on all devices. It's a, it's a huge privacy invasive app. It's a huge security concern. The amount of data the CCP is collecting on Americans, you don't know what they're doing with it. So I was like, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that. Plus, if TikTok was banned, I would just join another platform. I can't remember the name of it, but I talked, I named it in the video because I looked it up before I recorded to make sure I, or, I don't know, I looked it up sometime just to make sure I would remember. It was either before I recorded or as I was recording. Yeah, so, I was talking about that and one guy commented like, yeah, TikTok is not going to be getting banned. How, because you said that about TikTok, I'm unsubbing and I dislike. <laughs> I did the shrug emoji, I'm like, okay. 
Like, like, what do you want me to say that? Like, oh, I'm so sorry that I'm concerned about American citizen security and the CCP. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know. Is that what he wanted me to say or something? I'm not saying that. I mean, that's the, the funny... This, I mean, the dumbest thing they get pissed over. It's like, yeah, TikTok should be banned. How dare you say that? How freaking dare you say TikTok should be banned? Also, I don't get um, the point of disliking videos anymore since, you know... A bunch of snowflakes at YouTube decide. Oh, there's so many liberals posting videos to YouTube, and they're getting so many dislikes. Also, the White House, I mean, they posted a video. They got ten times the amount of dislikes as likes, so we can't show that anymore. Which, you know, and other bunch of other liberal businesses as well. That that is the reason why TikTok removed it. Or, uh, not TikTok. Tick, I don't think it TikTok ever had dislikes on YouTube. Removed dislikes because. All the liberals were getting disliked and they complained to YouTube like, this is a problem, this is making their image look bad. It just shows just how many conservatives there are and non-liberals that are in the country. There's a lot more conservatives, as you can tell by the like to dislike ratio in the videos. Yes, I took it away. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, why would you completely take that away? It's like, I would not take dislikes off my videos if I was given an option. It's like... You could already hide the dislikes if you want before. So now it's just like every video, it's like you have that op. It, it doesn't even. It, it just frustrates me that a bunch of snowflakes was like, oh, the dislikes can't handle the dislikes. Like, at least give us an option. Don't just be like, yeah, you don't even get that option anymore. Although, unless you're using the return YouTube dislikes. Um, browser extension, you're not going to see dislikes. I do have that extension, so I do get to see how many dislikes each video has, and people still do dislike, but you know, a majority of the people obviously aren't going to have that extension. So, if everybody would get that extension, that would make the world greater. Everyone could see no one's taking the liberal BS. Anyway, let's go forward. Can't wait to get to the football stadium. We're getting closer. <laughs> and... Oh, there's the football stadium. Alright, we're doing this. Here we go. Oh, guys, we made it. We got an audience. Oh, boy. Guys, I made it to the... The... Wunun Stadium. The W Nun Stadium. Oh, look at that. Can I... There we go. Perfect. My bouncy Betty's are getting those dogs. This is great. Yeah. There's the Z. I can take you down with this flamethrower. Watch this. I'm going to take you down, dog. Oh, there you are. Boom. What you going to do about it? Quit spawning all the way over there. I wasn't paying attention if I completely said this in my... When I was talking about the TikTok, but... Yeah, the, the bill was only for government devices. Uh, but I know what I did not say for sure is it should definitely be banned off of all government devices. And it, the bill is for state and federal government. It was not for local government. Although I would not mind it going for local government as well because that would definitely be helpful. I feel like if you work in the government period, you should not have TikTok on any of your devices. In fact, I'm making a personal pledge to myself that if I... And not just if, when I get elected to any office, whether it's local, state, or federal office, any political position, I am doing my TikTok before I enter office. So that is a personal promise, because I am not a fan of the gigantic data collection, privacy concerns, security concerns. You don't know what the CCP is going to do with all that. Collecting data on everyone they can around the world. Okay, this is the greatest wall buy you could possibly put for a non-wonder weapon wall buy that is awesome everybody loves the ppsh if you don't then you're a liar <laughs> that's the truth about the zombies community we all love the ppsh this is awesome now this map it's 2015 so i mean you could have had custom perks by this point but this map only has the four original so nothing too crazy is going to be going on you know come to think about it, i'm kind of surprised that Unless this person just discovered me yesterday, 
that, that guy who made the stupid TikTok comments like, I'm unsubbing because you're not a- because you don't like TikTok. Again, it's the stupidest reason ever to unsubscribe, but... It just makes me laugh because that- it's just so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he, he didn't unsubscribe earlier because, you know, in, back in my videos, I know you can see my, my Ronald Reagan flag. Yeah, so surprised he didn't unsubscribe when he f saw my Ronald Reagan flag, unless he didn't see it. Maybe in that video, he saw my Ronald Reagan flag, but he's like, I, didn't, I don't want to appear so stupid that I'm just only unsubscribing because cause he likes Ronald Reagan, so I'm going to make it about TikTok, which is even stupider. Yeah, boy, people are just... Yeah, not smart these days. But I, I think we've known that for a long time, though. Well, unless I haven't been paying enough attention, I, I, I've looked through this whole map, and I have not found Quick Revive anywhere. You know, because I can't find it. No clue if Quick Revive was on this... I mean, that description... I think it said Quick Revive was on this map. Does it say that? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> I guess there really is no Quick Revive. I guess I was just kind of confused because you have that right there, so I guess I was under the impression that it was on there. But in the map description, it lists the Juggernaut, Speed Coal, and Double Tap, but not Quick Revive, so... Not sure about why Quick Revive wouldn't be in this map, because imagine if you're playing with your home dogs and it's like, you know, trying to revive them faster, it's a higher round, don't got time to be screwing around. And then it's like, there you are, you, you can't revive them faster because the map creator did not put Quick Revive in for s some reason. Not sure why though. It, also, it would have been nice to have like a solo Quick Revive as well, that that would be very helpful. Alright, well guys, I that was the whole map I looked through. You know, I even looked for Quick Revive until I figured it out there was no Quick Revive. So I think we're going to end it there. Uh, one thing I'm going to point out before in this video is apparently some people are under the impression that and by some people I mean the TikTok rager that I am going to be offended or care that someone has a different political opinion than me or some other opinion that really I don't care about. I encourage disagreement. I don't encourage um, losing friends over just a simple political disagreement. That's the it's really stupid. So unless they're literally supporting uh, the overthrow of the United States government, or that we should be teaching kids in communism, you know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, oh, I'm not gonna be your friend anymore because. Uh, Oh, you support the minimum wage and I don't. It's like, what? I can ever do whatever. It's just disagreement. So, if you're a person who can't handle this uh, political disagreement, um, unsubscribe right now because I'm a person who can, but if you can't, too bad. You're going to have a tough time here. Uh, hearing different political opinions, probably one in every hundred videos or something. You know, I don't talk about politics too often. Unless you watch my TikTok compilation, then... That's the video where you hear me talk about politics the most, because it pretty much like every... one in two or every one in three TikToks I make is something political. Because that's what I specialize in on TikTok. But otherwise, in my normal gaming videos, I don't really talk about politics. On a regular basis, not, not much at all. I, I like to focus on the game a lot more. You know, because... If I could talk about politics, I'd be talking about every, like everything in every video, and I would just become a political commentator rather than a gaming channel. Also, I don't read the news for every day, and I don't read the news for maybe like more than ten minutes when I check True Social every morning and right before I go to bed. That's pretty much my news. Every once in a while, yes, I will read an article, but. Anyways, I get a lot of my news from Truth Social. I like checking Trump's truths every- I make sure to do that every day. He's a pretty cool guy. But yeah, I guess I'll, I'll end the video here because that's all I have to say. So, I guess go follow Trump and Truth Social. You know, I'll give him a free promotion. He doesn't have to pay me. Yeah.
and I'll be playing the sequel to this map in my next video. Subscribe, please.